Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host, Mr. Brody, is here. And we'll be playing another game from the 1970 Boston Red Sox. And we're starting a new series with the Oakland Athletics at home. After getting swept in a short two-game series um, by the California Angels. Um, we've lost three games in a row. And Milwaukee has, has won six in a row. So they've tied us currently at first place. Um, in the division with a 39 and 21 record. The Yankees are five and a half games behind. So we're going to look to right that ship against Oakland, who is uh, underperforming by quite a bit. They're uh, currently 22 and 38. And in the actual season, they were 20, 32 and 28. So they were, they're uh, 10 games behind their, their pace there, 10 less uh, wins. And uh, we are currently at a pace of. 39 and 21. I mean, a record of 39 and 21, two games behind our pace. And Milwaukee is currently five games ahead of their pace, so hopefully they will cool off a little bit. And the Yankees are currently a little bit behind their pace, too. So, And the Angels, uh, by sweeping us, are only a half game out of first place behind Kansas City, five games ahead of their pace. So, anyway, so that is where we stand right now. So, we're going to look to uh, to get a win against the Oakland Athletics today. Play it one game at a time. All right, Mr. Brody. <laughs> so, all right. So, Pete Broberg goes for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, they'll be going against Louis Tiant for the Red Sox. Uh, Red Sox, again, looking to get back on their winning ways here. Let's play ball. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. Alrighty, let's play ball. And uh, the Red Sox currently in the 2017 season are down two games to none. They lost again today to the Houston um, Astros, actually by quite a bit. They've uh, been outplayed. Uh, so hopefully they can come back to Fenway on Sunday and, uh, you know, get back into the series one game at a time. So anyway, uh, Louis Tiant takes the mound for the Red Sox today. He'll he has a record of 3-2 and two with an uh, ERA of 5.03, 54 innings pitch, 53 hits allowed, uh, 18 walks and 30 strikeouts, and has surrendered 7 home runs. Uh, he had a record of 13-8 on the actual season. Uh, the lineup for the Oakland visiting Oakland Athletics will be as follows. Miguel DeLone will be the left fielder batting first. Gorman Thomas... I'm sorry, Gary Thomason. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't think it was Gary Gorman Thomas. Gary Thomason, who would later be traded to the Yankees, uh, will bat second and play right field. Dave Revering, the first baseman, bats third. Mario Guerrero is the shortstop, batting cleanup. Third baseman Wayne Gross will bat fifth. Tony Armas, the future Red Sox, will play center field and bat sixth. Batting seventh will be Gary Alexander, the DH. Jim Essien is behind the plate, batting 8th, and playing 2nd, batting ninth will be Steve Skaggs. So that's your lineup for the visiting Oakland Athletics, who are in last place in the AL West. Sorry, right. so Tiant looks in for the sign from Fisk. Corners are playing in against DeLone. He's lined up in the pitch. It's going to be off the 2 column of DeLone. 
And that's going to be a fly ball to center field. Yastrzemski's under it. And he'll make the catch. So the Red Sox defense looks a little different than normal. Fred Lynn has the day off. Rice will play left. Yastrzemski in center and Evans in right. The infield is Hobson, Burleson, Remy, and Scott. So they have best defense overall. Other than Hobson, of course, which is bad anyway. <laughs> and Colin Fisk is behind the plate. So Gary Thomason, as you can see here, uh, does not have an Oakland picture that I can find anywhere on the internet. So you have to go with the Yankee picture, unfortunately. So Gary Thompson comes into the game with a 203 average, five homers, and 19 runs batted in. Let's see what he does here. He's going to be off the four column of Tion. And he's going to get a hold of one here. Evans can just watch this one, and it's going to wrap around the pesky pole. And the Yankees are on top, one nothing as Thompson hits his sixth home run of the season. So next up, Dave Revering, the first baseman. So he comes into the game with a 268 average with seven homers and 20 runs batted in. That's us quickly in the hole here. And he's going to get a good pitch to hit us off to his two column. But he'll ground out to Remy, throws over to Scott for out number two. So next up will be Mario Guerrero, the shortstop, hitting 263 with two homers and 26 runs batted in. And this is going to be off of his sixth column, Tion. And he'll, he'll get strike three. So after one half, it's Oakland one and Boston coming up. Pete Broberg on the mound for the Oakland Athletics. He's got a record of 2 and 4 with an ERA of 5.10. 72 innings pitch, 79 hits allowed, 30 walks and 40 strikeouts, and has surrendered 7 home runs. So the Red Sox lineup is as follows. Rick Burleson, the shortstop, will bat first. Jerry Remy is your second baseman, batting second. The left fielder, Jim Rice, bats third. Center playing center field today, the captain, Carl Yastrzemski. Behind the plate, Carlton Fisk, batting fifth. George Scott is your first baseman, bat six. The DH stays Jack Brohammer batting seven. Batting eighth, the right fielder Dwight Evans, and third baseman Butch Hobson will bat ninth. So Rick Wilson comes into the game hitting 278 with a home run and 22 runs batted in. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. Oh, and he hits that home run column. It's gonna go back, 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 and it's gonna be off the wall, not quite out. So Burleson being with a leadoff double. So a good start for the Red Sox here today. And this is a game from Wednesday, June 14th of 1978. So, Alright, so the Rem Dog Jerry Remy up now. Hitting 293 with a homer and 19 runs batted in. He'll be hitting away. It's going to be off his two call. And that's going to be a ground ball to first. Reverend will race to the bag and just beat Remy. Burleson moves to third. So one down and Burleson at third for Jim Rice. He's 328 with 22 homers and 57 runs batted in. And this is going to be off of the sixth column, which is where the Red Sox want to be on, on Reverend's, uh, I mean, on Broberg's uh, card. However, not there. This is a 212, and that's going to be a fly ball to left for out number two. See if it's going to be deep enough. And he makes the catch, but trips, and Burleson will come home. So Jim Rice is credited with a sack fly. And the Red Sox have tied it at one. So the captain, Kali Stremski, up now. Hitting 267 with six homers and 29 runs batted in. And up his one column. And that'll be a ground ball to Gross at third. He throws over the Reverend for out number three. But the Red Sox tie it on a double by Burleson and a sack fly Sacrifice fly by Rice, and after one full, it's 1 1. So Tiant will face Gross, Armis, and Alexander for the Oakland Athletics. Gross comes into the game hitting 199 with six homers and 17 runs back in. And it's going to be off of his two column. And he'll look at it, strike three. Tiant's second K of the game. That brings up Tony Armis. He did not have a good year. He had only 213 in the actual season, hitting 204 in the replay so far with a homer and nine runs batted in. But he will single this one up the middle. Shumsky gathers it up and throws it back in. 
So one up, one on, and one down for Oakland. Brings up Gary Alexander hitting 277 with nine homers and 37 runs batted in. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And it's going to be a one, so that's going to go all the way to the wall, and that will be score Armis. And Alexander will end up at third with a triple. So Oakland quickly takes back the lead, two to one. But then Jim Essie in the catcher. The Red Sox defense is going to play in here. Defense playing in against Essien, trying to prevent the run from coming home. So Essien comes into the game hitting 245 with four homers and 17 runs bat in. He only actually only hit three home runs in the actual season, but he's already ahead of that. It's going to be off number five, and that'll be a base hit up the middle. So Alexander will come in with the third Oakland run. And that'll bring up Steve Skaggs, the second baseman today. He's already hit, had one more at bat than he actually did on the season. Hitting 241, real close to his 244, with no homers and six runs batted in. So Essien gets his lead off the first. He you know, steps away from the mound. So Essien moves back to first. He's lined up in the pitch. It's going to be off the four column. And Staggs will strike out for out number two on the high cheese. Brings up top of the order DeLone. He flied out his first time up. And he'll ground out the first. Scott will trot to the bag. And that'll do it for Oakland in the second. But they do score two runs and lead it three to one. Hey, Miss Mags. What's going on? Ms. Mags has come to join us here. What's up, Max? You being a good girl? Oh, yeah. The Red Sox will come back. <laughs> She's come up to say hi. So, Carlton Fisk will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the second. Now down by two. Fisk comes into that game hitting 319. He's been on pretty much of a tear recently. Nine homers and 37 runs batted in. Let's see how he starts off this game. And he'll start this one off with a base hit up the middle. So a good start for the Fisk and the Red Sox here in the second. That'll bring up George Scott hitting 284, 50 points above his season average. With three homers and 12 runs batted in. And Scott will get a good pitch to hit here. And he lays off of it. And it's called ball four. So runners on first and second. Nobody out for Brohammer. Hitting 282, also 50 points ahead of his average, with seven runs batted in. RBI opportunity here. And he's going to fly out to right. Thomas is at three range. It'll be a range check on Thomas in. One to six will be a hit. And he'll get in front of it. And he'll make the catch for out number one. Let's see if Fisk is going to tag up here. He's got a, it's a deep fly ball, 75% chance. We're going to try to advance him. And he's safe. So Fisk tags up and moves to third. So now there's a runner on third with less than two out. So Dwight Evans up now. He's 267 with 10 homers and 30 runs batted in. And he's third on the Red Sox in home runs behind Rice and Lynn. And it's going to be off of four column of Broberg. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. As Guerrero's four range, so one to six will be a hit. Come on, one to six. Nope, we'll get in front of it. Can he turn two? That is the question. Throws the second. Could be two. And they do. They turn two, so. The Red Sox do score, aren't able to score it in, and still trail at three to one. So they had their opportunity there, but could not capitalize. So that'll bring up Gary Thomason, who had a solo home run his first time up to get Oakland on the board. And 
and he'll get his second hit as he laces a single into left field. So lead off runner on for Oakland. Brings up Dave Reverend, grounded out his first time up. Red Sox looking to turn two here. And they do not as it's a single up the middle. Thomason will hold that second as Ashemsky gets it in quickly. So first two runners on for Oakland. Brings up Guerrero, which struck out his first time up. And he's going to bunt. And he's retired at first. They just barely get him, but runners will move up. Check out some scores from around the league. California leads Baltimore 1-0. They've been hot lately. They're only half game out ahead first place. Seattle's leading the Yankees 2-1. Toronto slipping by Milwaukee, which is good. Both good news for the Red Sox as the Yankees and Milwaukee are losing. Texas leads Chicago 2-1. to one. Matlack and Shula dueling. Detroit and Kansas City are scoreless. Billingham and Splitcher. And Minnesota leads Cleveland 1-0. Next up, Wayne Gross struck out his first time up. And he'll draw a walk. So that will load the bases with one out. This goes out to talk to Tion. Zimmer comes out also. We're going to leave him in, just discussing some strategy. And we're going to position the defense. We're going to bring the infield in here. So Tony Armas up now, singled his first time up. Red Sox looking to cut down the run at home. And strike three call. Tion gets his fourth K of the day. So one more out to get out of the inning. I'll have to do it with Gary Alexander. No place to put him. He tripled his first time up. Ugh. Had the right column, just got the wrong result. That's it's going to be a single, and two runs will come in. And Oakland's taking a 5 to 1 lead. So Tion does not seem to have his good stuff today. Brings up Essien. Got an RBI single his first time up. And he'll ground out to Burleson. This should do it. He throws over to Scott for out number three, but Oakland puts up another two runs and leads it five to one. So I bring up Butch Hobson. His first at bat today. Hitting 288 with seven homers and 28 runs batted in. He'll get a good pitch to hit here. And he'll lay off of it for ball four. So lead off runner on for the Red Sox here in the third, down by four. Gonna bring up Rick Burleson, who doubled his first time up. And he'll hit one to center. Armas is under it. And he'll make the catch for out number one. Jerry Remy up now. He grounded out his first time up. This time he'll pop up to Revering at first, who backpedals and makes the catch. Hops him back to first. So two outs now for Jim Rice. Had a sacrifice fly his first time up. And he finds the, the odd single on his two column. The Red Sox inning continues. Hobson moves up to second. So that'll bring up Kyle Yastrzemski, who grounded out his first time up. Red Sox looking at a little two out rally here. Ugh, they do not get it though as he grounds out the Skaggs to retire the side. So after three full, the Red Sox trail by a score of five to one. So, all right, so as we head to the fourth, the Red Sox down by a score of five to one. Steve Skaggs will come to the plate first. He struck out his first time up. And here's the windup in the pitch. It's gonna be up to two calm of Skaggs. And he'll draw a walk. Action in the Red Sox bullpen. As Tion actually pitched a much better game in actual life. He pitched a four hit shutout. Complete game shutout. A lot different in the replay here. So it'll bring up Delone with one on, 
nobody out. He flied out in the first and grounded out in the second. And he'll line out to Scott. Skaggs just barely gets back. So one out. For Gary Thomas, and he's two for two with a single and a home run. And he'll hit one to center. Rainbow shot. Ostrowski reaches up and makes the catch for out number two. Set so up bring up Revering, one for two with a run scored. He's going to be off of the four column with Tion. And he'll light, lace a single to right. Evans quickly gets it back in, holding Skaggs at second. So first and second with two down for Mario Guerrero. He's 0 for 1 with a sacrifice. Oh, he finds the single on Tion's column there. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep the others run, runners from advancing as Skaggs will come home for the sixth run. And that is gonna be it for Tion as John Zimmer comes to the mound. Tion just did not have good stuff today. Gonna bring it. Jim Wright just pitched the other day, so that means Ripley is gonna be starting soon. So, oh boy. <laughs> oh, and um, Bob Stanley is not av uh, not available. He's tired. He's fatigued. He's pitched the last couple of days. Yeah, maybe we will leave him on in a little bit longer. Right, so I guess they decided not to change him. Hopefully they can get the last out here. Oh, man. <laughs> Gross is going to get a good pitch here. Almost everything is horrible on this. And not as bad as it could be, though. That'll load the bases. For Tony Armas, one for two. And he will fly, got, fly out to right. Rice is there and makes the catch. Oakland does score again as they've scored in each of the first four innings. And after three and a half, they now lead it six to one. So Red Sox with their work cut out for them. Alrighty, Colin Fisk up now. He's one for one. Coming off of his three column. And he'll draw a leadoff walk here in the fourth. So once again, a good start for the Red Sox here in the fourth. See if they can capitalize. We'll bring up George Scott. Excuse me, George Scott, who walked his first time up. And he will fly out to DeLone in left for out number one. So the Red Sox once again, and as they have on this streak, a lot of the last uh, two games anyway, have gotten behind early. In the first game that they lost, they actually... Uh, their bullpen blew it in the ninth. So, uh, the Red Sox once again in a hole here, though. Brings up Brohammer. He's 0 for 1. Glide out his first time up. And he'll ground out to Gross here. On range check. 1 to 6 will be a hit. Come on. Nope. He's going to get in front of it. And he'll make the play. Let's see if they can turn 2 or not. Over to second one, back, and they turn two. So once again, the Red Sox hit themselves out of an inning after getting the lead off runner on, and after four full, trail it by five. Tion back on the hill. Alexander's got three runs bad in, he's two for two, triple and a single. And this time he'll pop out to Burleson for arc number one. Red Sox and Tiant need a quick inning here. Jim Messian up now, one for two with a run about it in. And that won't happen as he's going to get under one here, actually. Nope. That was weird. Normally, it's when it's a base hit, it's hit really uh, not hit like that. But that is a single for Essien as he decides to hold at first as Yastrzemski is unable to get to it. So one out and one on. Gags up now 0 for 1 with a walk. 
And he'll strike out looking. Tiant's 5Ks on the day now. Check out the scores there as Seattle's in front of Oakland, uh, in front of the Yankees 5-2. California leads Baltimore 1-0 still. Milwaukee losing to Toronto 7-4. Texas on top of Chicago 3-1. Detroit leads KC 2-1. And Minnesota edging Cleveland 1-0. And here Oakland leads 6-1. Hey, Miss Mags. I'm going to go the loan up now. Move our camera there. It's sliding over. As Mr. Brody has a plate, a little bit of nacho, a little bit of uh, chili and rice there before him, but not hungry, I guess. So I'm going to go up now. He's 0 for 3 on the day. Team cannot seem to get a lead here against Tion. And he will go on the line out for out number three. So for the first inning, the Oakland does not score. And it remains 6 1. Red Sox will send up Evans, Hobson, and Burleson against Broberg. He's allowed just one run on three hits so far. Evans grounded out into a double play his first time up. He will ground one to Guerrero at short. And it will be a base hit. Evans on with a single. It will be an infield single as he's, Evans just beats it. So lead off runner on once again. The Red Sox. Picks up which Hobson walked his first time up. And he'll lace a single past Guerrero. Old Evans at second, down by five. So the first two runners on for the Red Sox. Ends at the top of the order, Burleson. He's one for two with a double. And he'll get a good pitch to hit here. And Burleson will single out the middle. And we will hold runners. So that will load the bases with nobody out for Jerry Remy, 0 for 2. Red Sox really need our score. And they might, just as he's going to get a good pitch to hit here. Uh, but he hits that bad 2-2, two -two. I mean that 2 on the roll, and it's a pop up to second, so 1 down for Jim Rice, he's 0 for 1, I mean 1 for 1, with sack fly in an RBI, and Rice will hit one into the left field corner, this one will bounce around, Evans will score, Hobson will score, Wilson will be held. Red Sox on the art two-run double by Jim Rice have the lead now. It's 6-3. So that'll bring up Kali Stremski with a couple runners in scoring position. He is 0 for 2, grounded out twice. And Stremski is going to nail a single to right. Burleson will score. Rice will be held at third, so another run in, so it's 6-4 now for the Red Sox. So the Red Sox coming back, have already scored three in inning. That'll bring up Fisk, who's 1-for-1 one one with a single. And he'll find the single spot, as that will bring Rice home. Strumps will stop at second, so four runs in. It's now 6-5 ball game, as the Red Sox have rallied this inning. Still only one out with runners on first and second for George Scott, 0 for 1 with a walk. And he will draw a walk to reload the bases. So that'll bring corners are playing in now for Brohammer, who's 0 for 2. And Brohammer is going to get a good one to hit here. This is going to go over Armis' head all the way off the, off the wall. One run comes in. Two runs are going to come in. Scott is going to be held at third. And the Red Sox take the lead on a six-run fifth. So this is the inning the Red Sox have been waiting for for three games here. Finally do get it. I wonder if that's going to be it for Broberg. As the Sox have batted around here in the fifth. And that will be it. As Bobby Winkles will come to the mound and take Broberg out. 
So the lefty, lefty Bob Lacey will come in. He's 2-1 on with an ERA of 1.57. So two runners in scoring position still. Red Sox would definitely like to add to this. And it's going to be off the sixth column of Lacey. And that's going to be a ground ball to short. And he's going to get in front of it. And he'll throw over to... Let's see. Hmm. What are we going to do with the runner on third here? Decisions, decisions. I think we're going to hold him. Evans is retired. Runners hold. And only 55% chance here. So Hobson up now. He's one for one with a single and a walk. Walk hops in the load the bases. So Rick Burleson, who's had a good day so far today, two for three with a double. And that strategy proves correct as Burleson strikes out. But the Red Sox score six, and after five hole, lead it seven to six. And so Tom Tiant will face Thomason, Revering, and Guerrero here in the Oakland six now down by one. And this will be hit to Remy at second. Over to Scott for out number one. Kind of bring up Reverie. Singled his last two times up, two for three for the run score. And he'll hit his get his third single in a row. So runner on first with one down. For Mario Guerrero, one for two with an RBI. So he's going to ground one back to Keon. Toss the second one back to first. Nope, that's all they're going to do is get the one at second. They've got the lead runner now in the field of choice. So that'll bring up Wayne Gross. He's 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. And he's going to get a good pitch to hit here. And he'll lace the single up the middle. Stremski fires it back in. That is going to be it for Tiant as Zimmer is coming to the mound now. This time they will pull him. Let's see. Arm is in there now. Um, Drago. Dick Drago will come in. Got a record of 5 and 2 with a 2.60 ERA. 20 innings pitched, 25 hits allowed, 8 walks, and 14 strikeouts. It has allowed 3 homers. For Drago in to try to get the last out of the 6 and maintain the Red Sox 1 run lead. And he'll get him swinging. That proves to be good strategy as Oakland just fails to score. we will head to the bottom of the 6 for the Red Sox with a 1 run lead. Jerry Remy leads it off. He's 0 for 3. And ground out to Revering. Take it to the bag himself for out number 1. Brings up Jim Rice. He's 2 for 3 with a 3 R runs batted in. And he's going to get a good one to hit here. Oh, just missed that triple as he lines a single to left. 1 to 11 would have been a triple as he rolled a 12. So one out and one on for the Red Sox. For the captain, Kai Stremski, 1 for 3 with an RBI. And he'll draw a walk. So runners on first and second with one down. And Carlton Fisk, who's having himself a fine day. He's 2 for 2 with a couple of singles and an RBI. And he'll draw a walk as it looked like they were pitching around him. So that will load the bases with the one down for the boomer George Scott. He's 0 for 1 with a couple of walks. And that'll be it as Hevelo is going to come in. He has a 3 and 1 record in 24 appearances with a 3.54 ERA. Corners are playing in for Scott. 
and he'll strike out swinging for out number two. So that brings up Bro brings up Brohammer one for three with a double. And he'll get under one and pop it out to short for out number three. So the Red Sox fail to add to their lead despite loading the bases. And Dick Dre goes back out for the seventh here. He'll face Alexander, Essien, and Staggs. Hoping to keep it a one run lead. Ooh, he's going to get a good pitch day here. And Stremski's backpedaling, and he'll make the catch for out number one. Brings up Essien, two for three with an RBI. And he'll strike out looking, second K for Drago. So he seems to have good stuff today. Brings up Steve Skaggs, 0 for 2 with a run scored. And he'll be pinch hit for as Mitchell Page comes off the bench. 291 hitter on the season with five homers and 22 runs batted in. And he'll hit one to Remy. Also throws on to Scott, and the Oakland is retired in order in the seventh. So here's our trivia question brought to you by Mr. Brody and Miss Mags. Carl Hubble had two nicknames. What were they? Carl Hubble had two nicknames. What were they? I do not I have no idea. Hub? I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. So lock in your answers. See if you get them right. And here they are. The meal ticket and King Carl. Okay. Oakland will make a defensive change. Rob Pickle will bat ninth and play second base. Our Red Sox will have Evans, Hobson, and Burleson here in the home half of the seventh. Evans will strike out looking for out number one. Weaver will back on the mound. Butch Hobson up now. He's one for one with a single two walks, one of them intentional. He'll get a good pitch to hit here. And he will get his second hit as he laces a single to left. So a one out base runner for the Red Sox, looking to add to the lead. Brings up Rick Burleson, two for four with a double. And he's gonna get under one here, and he's gonna fly out to Armis in center for out number two. So two outs in the Red Sox seven for Jerry Remy. He's hitless on the day 0 for four. He's gonna ground one to Piccolo at second. get in front of it and make the play over to Reverend for out number three so the Red Sox do not score in the seventh and it remains a one-run Red Sox lead. Attendance has just been announced it's 33,119. All right so Heberlo's gonna mean uh, Drago will be back out there for the eighth. It'll be the top of the order DeLone, Thomason, and Reverend up for the A's. Delon is 0 for 4 on the day. Think that 0 for 5 as he flies out to Evans and right for up number 1. And there are your scores if you like to look at them. Seattle and Milwaukee are... Oh, actually Milwaukee has taken the lead against Toronto 8-7 and the Yankees are losing to still to Seattle 6-4. As Heisel has hit a 16th home run for Milwaukee. Thomason up now. He's 2 for 4 with a homer. And it's going to be a range play on Fisk. And good throw. Throw over to first. Retire. Thomason for out number two. So two up and two down in the Oakland eight. Brings up Revering. He singled his last three times up. Three for four. 
And this time he'll ground out the Scott at first. He'll take it himself. And Oakland goes 1-2-3 in the eighth. The Red Sox is still looking to add some insurance here. We'll have Rice, Yastrzemski, and Fisk up. Rice is 3-for-3 three three with a double. And three runs batted in. And to make that 4-for-4 four four as he singles to right. So Rice with a perfect day. Brings up Yastrzemski. Might try a little hit and run here. Let's try some hit and run. Yeah, let's try a little bit more. Why not? A range check on catcher here. I didn't get much of it. It's going to bounce away from that scene. Okay, no throw. So it's actually a wild pitch. Rice will take second, so. Runner in scoring position now. This jump is just going to hit away now. And he's going to get under one here and fly out to right. See if Rice is going to tag. Nope. So Rice remains at second. For Fisk, who's also perfect on the day two for two with a couple of walks and an RBI. And he'll lace a single up the middle. Armas takes on one bounce. Rice holds at third as runners are at the corners now with one down for George Scott. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of walks. Oh, let's Scott hit me. Well, he will is going to go. So Sosa will come in to relieve him. Corners are going to play in. Sosa comes in with a record of 0-1-1 with four saves, a 2.42 ERA. And he'll line up the Guerrero at short for out number two. So Jack Brohammer up now. He's one for four with a double. The Red Sox are going to pinch hit for Brohammer. Here will be pinch hit for. Looks like uh, Ernie Carbo is going to. Oh, wait a second. Fred Lynn. Fred Lynn's going to come in and pinch hit. A real hammer. So Fred Lynn comes into the game with a 282 average, 15 homers, and 46 runs batted in. Good to give the Red Sox some insurance here. And he'll draw a walk to load the bases. So the inning continues for Dwight Evans, who's one for four with a run scored. Oh, just misses the walk there as he rounds out the short. Throws over to Revering at first, and that'll do it for the Red Sox in the eighth. So we head to the ninth. Put the Red Sox up by one. Like Guerrero will come out to start the ninth. I mean, uh, Drago will come out to start tonight. He'll face Guerrero to lead it off here. Guerrero is one for three with an RBI. He lines one out to Hobson and makes the catch for out number one. So that'll bring up Wayne Gross. He's one for two with a couple of walks. He's going to ground one out to Scott at first. Scott is a two range. And he'll get in front of it. And make the play. As he flips over with Drago covering for out number two. So the A's are down to their last out. Tony Armas up now. And Jeff Newman is going to be pinch hit for Armas. Newman comes in. Hitting just 121 in the season with two homers and four runs batted in. 239 hitter on the actual season. 
And he's going to get into one here and pop it up to short. And Burleson, this should do it. And Burleson makes the catch. And that's the ball game as the Red Sox hold on. Come from behind. With a, powered by a 6-run fifth inning. To beat Oakland by a score of 7-6. So a good come from behind victory. Snaps the Red Sox three-game losing streak. Check our box score here. Louis Tion gets the win. Zimmer stuck with him. Much for the reasoning of having just a tired bullpen. But Tiant pitches five and two thirds inning. Does allow 12 hits, six runs, all of them earned, so did not have good stuff at all. But manages to tough one out and get the victory. Drago pitches three and a third innings of scoreless relief. Scoreless and hitless relief. Striking out two, so he was stellar in his uh, relief, getting the, his third save of the season. Roberg takes the loss, four and two, well, one third inning, ten hits allowed, seven runs, all of them earned, four walks, and no strikeouts. Let's see Red Sox lineup: Burleson was two for five with a couple of runs scored. Jim Rice was the hitting star, and I believe I'll give we'll give Rice the player of the game. He was four for four. With a run scored and three runs batted in. Stremski was one for four with a run scored in an RBI. Fisk was also perfect on the day. Three for three, I believe, with a couple of walks. One run and one RBI. Scott was 0 for three. Brohammer, one for four with a couple of RBIs. Evans was one for five with a run scored. And Hobson was two for two himself, I think, with a with two walks, one intentional. And a run scored. So the Red Sox offense managed to pound out seven runs and 14 hits and come behind fashion. Beat Oakland and snap their three game losing streak. So let's check the standings. Yeah, let's see if the Yankees ended up losing. And see what Milwaukee did. Lost our box score here. I mean, our. Uh, let's try this again. There we go. So that's strange. Did Milwaukee play a doubleheader or something? We won one. And Milwaukee, no. We won six. Oh, the, the tie score is with. Milwaukee already recording the games. That's right. They already played the games from the day. So the Red Sox with the win take a half game lead on Milwaukee. And the Yankees lost. So the lead goes back to six games on the Yankees. California one game behind the Royals still in, the, in Texas one and a half games. So the Red Sox maintain their half game lead on Milwaukee with the win. Two will be a short day in the American League game, so let's check it out. It will be Steve Renko going for the Oakland Athletics against Mike Torres, who again will try to go for his 10th victory of the season. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, my co-host Mr. Brody. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and so we will do more of them. Thank you for watching, take care, and God bless. Bye-bye.